Well, after a long absence, we are back. Um, we took a little break after Lorne because the Holy Lornography really takes it out of you. Boy, it doesn't. And we, we were going to come back, you know, November, but, you know, I got sick and I was sick for a week or so. And then after that, Paco got sick and she was sick for a week or so. And we were both really sick. And then we had coughs that just lingered and wouldn't go away. Then when the coughing finally stopped, Paco got sick again. And long story short, we're finally both at a point where neither of us are coughing enough. We can uh, get back to this. And he has now jinxed us, so give it two days. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I figure we're going to do my favorite predator, which is Jim Roush. Um, I'm not at 100%, so I don't know if I'm going to try and do a voice. The interesting thing about Jim Roush is the way he looks and his mannerisms and everything. He reminds me so much of my dad. It's Ooh. so funny. <laughs> yeah. Like my my dad wasn't like it wasn't a pedo trying to stalk children or anything, but it is funny like just watching the Jim Roush interrogation footage. He just looks and sounds like my dad sitting there. It's just so funny to me. All right. All right. So apparently, now this, he was a Kentucky predator, and uh, there was a brief um, view of Jim Roush on the uh, Kentucky episode of To Catch a Predator, but he wasn't actually caught in the same sting as the other Kentucky predators. This was a sting that took place several months before, but the same detectives did the interrogations, and it, it was still uh, KBI and all that stuff, but... Just a different uh, different town in Kentucky. I don't know why they didn't uh, have him meet Chris Hansen. That would have been a four-hour Chris Hansen sit-down with yeah. her boy Jim. He was drunk. He was he drunk. He didn't make it to the house, did he? He didn't make it to the house. He kept taking wrong turns. And uh, I've, heard, I've, I've seen it conflicting. I watched a Susan Bonds video where she followed along on a map with the... Uh, the decoy's instructions and Jim says the decoy gave bad instructions and although the decoy did sound like a seasoned over the road trucker with her instructions apparently once or twice she did give bad turns and Jim went left when when she said go right sometimes and he's one of those guys that like you start giving him instructions he's like oh, oh I know what to do I know what to do from here <laughs> and he just and he just goes on his way and she's like, and she'll be like, she'll be like, you've got to turn, you've got to turn. What? Go straight? No turn. Straight turn. <laughs> so it's, it's one of those. Uh, but no, he never made it to the house, and uh, he also was not charged with drunk driving. That um, shocks me. Well, that's because he sat down and spilled his guts in that police interrogation. And if they'd have charged him with being drunk, they couldn't have used that in that any of that interrogation. So, uh, yeah. Ah. And the funny thing about it is he looks like he gets drunker as the interrogation goes on, too. <laughs> it's like it's like he's just steadily drinking his uh, vodka tonics or something while that's going on. It's crazy. I hope you do do the voice. As best you can. I, I'm, I might do it some. I don't know if I can keep it. I'll, I'll try and do a little gem. You know, I'll, I'll, do, I'll do a little gem. All right, let's see. First contact was a webcam invite. Do and I know you? Do I you want to? I, I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> I don't know. ASL? <laughs> Male 50 horny. <laughs> <laughs> Already, buddy. Already. He's ready to go. Okay. <laughs> he is ready. He is ready. Mm, our boy. <laughs> 13. Female Kentucky. Where's horny? Cincy. <laughs> Cincy! <laughs> oh, cool. Are, are you kidding? 13? No, I'm not kidding. That what you look like. <laughs> She's shocked. You look like that? Oh, my God. What? Is <laughs> oh, that's, that's a question. Is that what you look yeah. like? That's what you meant. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> um. I'm sorry. <laughs> My brain interpreted that wrong. I like there's no way she's like you look thirteen. 
Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Jim Roush comes walking up with a skateboard, his head on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings, fellow children. Who wants a vodka tonic? <laughs> Sorry, I must have 87 brain. <laughs> There's a little 87 in us all. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to suck on this? <laughs> then the decoy goes, well, that didn't take long. I don't even know you. Does that matter? Well, Yes, it does matter. It's, it's <laughs> polite to get to know somebody before you start sucking on their pecker. It's just polite. <laughs> it's, a rule. it's a rule I've always followed. <laughs> well, thank God you don't suck stranger cock. <laughs> it's got to be well known. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> Whatever do we do our life. Okay. This is gonna go well. Well, yeah. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> Where in Kentucky? Pretty much anything else, Roush. Yeah, just anything. Literally anything, buddy. <laughs> North. Near Cincy. Kinda. Me too. Cool. What's your name? Oh, this is another brainchild. His screen name is Roush underscore Jim. Yeah, and hers is Sad Cheyenne. Yeah. Jim, and yours? Cheyenne. So, Cheyenne, do you fuck around? <laughs> what the hell, says the decoy. Like, what you mean? Do you like to feel a man inside of you? Oh. You mean, like, wear me like a suit? Not really. Yeah, that'd be creepy. Oh, now I'm thinking of X-Files. Yeah. I had a hard time with that episode. Oh, never did any of that before. Do you think you'd like to? Yeah, I might with someone nice. Well, that's not Jim. <laughs> Have you ever sucked someone before? Jim, come on. You got you got to have a little lead up before. Have you ever sucked someone before? Like maybe find out a favorite sports team at least. <laughs> Good lord, buddy. Jim is about it. He is. Um, yeah, I did that with my ex-boyfriend, Cody. Did you like that? Yeah. Bullshit. <laughs> the feeling of having him under control? I don't know. Would you suck a stranger? Didn't we already cover that, though? Well, they've gotten to know each other now. Okay. I don't know. You know you can make me come as you watch. Huh? That's what I'm saying, huh? Buy my cam. Oh, I don't like that saber stuff. It's gross. I could fill you up for real tonight. Ugh. I'm I'm copying the 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 decoy here. Oh. No 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 no. Jim, Jim just means the early bird special at the Golden Corral. That's what he means. <laughs> That's what he means. He's gonna take her out. They're gonna have some chicken wings and some salads and. Now I want some chicken wings. I know we should go to Golden Corral tonight. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a plan. Where were we? Oh. Huh? You could what? Fill you if you wanted. Way inside of you. See the chicken oh, wings? Oh, God. He's... No, no, it's the chicken wings. It's he's... the chicken wings. <laughs> Maybe I don't want chicken wings anymore. <laughs> they have a lot of other stuff. <laughs> okay, thank they goodness. They have steaks. <laughs> what you mean, fill me up? <laughs> With the load I have right now. See, he's at the buffet. <laughs> he's got On a... webcam. <laughs> naked. <laughs> God. He's there with Lorne. <laughs> <laughs> Come on back to the table, precious. <laughs> Are you sure you're a girl? <laughs> you sound like Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh shit. Huh? I could let you have it all inside if you're pussy. Good lord, we're not going to make it through this. <laughs> <laughs> we're stopping and laughing. There you go. There we go. Sorry. You're stopping and laughing on every line. All right, all right. <laughs> Have what? All my cum. Well, there goes my... Uh, Chicken wing theory? There goes my golden corral theory. <laughs> all my cum. There you go. 
You got a pick? Of his cum? Wait, I thought we already... Is she... Never mind. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, she's not a brainchild. She's not. Yeah. Be right back. Back. Hi. No decent pics. Hi. I see yours. What you look like. You are hot. Thanks. Well, when Jim Roush says you're hot, I mean... Yeah. He's been to every country club in Cincinnati. <laughs> Do you still want to watch? Can I see your face? Sometimes they kick out. What? <laughs> face is okay. Do, 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 <laughs> do his balls kick out? What? <laughs> Who knows? Jim, in case you have, if you haven't picked up on this, Jim's not much of a typist here. And he also might have had, <laughs> he might have had a drink or two. I think I'm gonna need a drink or two with this. So he, he he might have had a drink or two. He 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 is like our friend Lorne. He's not an alcoholic because he's no quitter. He is simply an accomplished drinker. Okay. He's like our friend Lorne on this. So. Cool. Except he probably does have furniture. <laughs> cool. So like, how old are you? Just to get by my stomach. <laughs> I don't <laughs> I don't want to know how old you are by your stomach, sir. <laughs> you got to count the rings. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you got to count the rings. Count the chips. <laughs> <laughs> In my 40s. Thought you said 50s. I'm almost 50. Oh. What you do for fun? I play music. Cool. What kind of music you play? All kinds except hip equal hop. I'm too white. I will agree with you. Yeah, you are too white, buddy. <laughs> I will agree with you. <laughs> Lol. What instrument you play? Keyboards. Cool. You in a band or something? I had a band for 15 years. Not now, though. Cool. How come you ain't got one now? Too much time. Oh, my favorite band is Blue October. You like them? Not heard them. I got one of their songs on MySpace. Sun's Link. That's my favorite song. I'm interested in skin. What? You are so attractive, and I got carried away. That's not attractive. That's attractive. Oh, I'm sorry. It's attractive. I've never been called attractive. I no. feel kind of sad, though. But you are beautimous. Okay. Thanks. What you mean got carried away? You wanted to talk about the music, and I wanted to talk about meeting you. You want to meet me? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I mean, you have. Oh, good God, he does the Lorne thing with the, <laughs> with the slashes and the quotation marks. Oh, my God. You have seen me, and that's okay. Yeah. I'm not really the pervert I seem over the Internet. <laughs> <laughs> pervert? What's that? <laughs> pervert? What's that? Exactly. <laughs> It's when people want to talk about sex and people think it's perverted. <laughs> Something I'm not. <laughs> the decoy says, you had me fooled. But where are you? Be great if she was like, in my, in, in, in my living room? Yeah. Next to my mom. We're both laughing at this. <laughs> Near Cincy. In Kentucky. Yeah. Would you like to meet sometime? Yeah, that would be cool. I like it when I think you're watching. Oh. It really turns me on. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, this is, what an old man. Email me when you have time to get together. Write this down. <laughs> oh, I love how he puts it, too. Go ahead, keep going. <laughs> Jim, 008847. 
and then no at symbol. He actually writes at Hotmail. Actually writes dot com. <laughs> what an old man. He is going to take her to the Golden Corral. Okay. Okay, got it. Yeah, she, she wrote it down. She put it on the calendar. <laughs> I have a hot tub over here. East Cincy. Really? Cool. Yes. Not married. I'm divorced five years. Oh, sad face. My mom and dad are getting divorced. It's not the end of the world. Your dad, dad will just end up talking to little girls on the internet. Good to know. Yeah. Daddy moved out and doesn't talk to me, sad face. No, I mean other little girls. <laughs> Sorry, let me know if and when you want to meet, talk, etc. Okay. <coughs> what you want to do if we meet? It can go a lot of ways. For now, let's leave it at talk. But I want you to know I find Yoy attractive, but young. Decoy says, then go away. Aw, thanks. So whatever that brings. Kay. What I would love to hear is, boy, I'd love to feel that dick. But I understand. Hello? Leave me an email. Okay. Okay, and then two days this, yeah, later. Yeah, two days later. Hi. What you doing? Just searching around, you. Nothing. I'm bored. What you searching for? <laughs> you in school today? No, it's spring break. What districtker? What? School district. Sorry, Sasha wanted me to take her out to go pee. <laughs> oh, Sasha's a dog. I was like, what? Yeah, that's her little sister. <laughs> She's out there, you know, Lauren's out there with Bud, sitting there going, hurry up, Bud. Yeah. She's going, come on, Sasha. You still there? Yeah, what school? I don't know if I should tell you. Um, maybe when I know you better, okay? It's the, Smiley face? It's the local school of education. <laughs> Good to be careful. So what you searching for? People to talk with. You're obviously busy with other stuff. Later. I ain't busy. I thought you was. I'm just here hanging out on my cam. Probably mm. literally. I was about to say. Yep. <laughs> oh, I'm just here doing nothing. Lol. Did you, <coughs> did you do anything today? Not really. I was lazy today. Lol. What'd you do today? Worked all day. Aw, what you do? Web pages. Cool. He probably used the goggle for that. Yeah. Bet that's fun. A challenge. Yeah, bet it's hard to do. Now what? What, lol? Never mind. What? You are too dangerous. Huh? What you mean? Too young, dear. For what? To be running around adult sites. I'm not running around adult sites. What you talking about? <laughs> He's got that Jim Roush laugh. <laughs> yeah. Probably. All right. So then. And then that's the that's the end of that. And then the next evening. Where's Cheyenne today? What's going on? A couple hours later. <laughs> hey, I was hanging out with my girlfriends. What you doing? Talk to you later, smiley face. Sorry I missed you. Talk to you later. Okay, then the next day. You're not who you say you are. Huh? Yeah? What are you talking about? I'm not who I say I am. Whatever, dude. How come you're not talking? What's wrong with you? How come you're not making a comment? Are you watching? I don't know. Yeah. And do you look at a lot of guys? No. Any reason? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I saw Cody's before, but that's it. And what does Cody's feel like? I don't know. Gotta go. Okay, whatever. This is such a romantic conversation. This, it is, you know, is. he tells the detectives that they, that they, that they just have these fun little conversations, and just for whatever reason, the last 
last day. It got really deep, and they felt a real spiritual connection. I'm waiting for that. So let's just so let's just it's going to get deep and spiritual. That's okay. what Jim Roush said, and and I mean this is Jim Roush. He's got to be right. <laughs> All right, let's go. Next day. I haven't got you figured out yet. And the decoy says, "I have you figured out." Are you around? <laughs> hey, what's up? Talk to you later. Yeah? My dick again. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, just a horny guy. <laughs> Lol. Hey. Okay. I finally found my Jim Roush laugh. <laughs> I love it. Why you say you ain't got me figured out yet? What's that mean? Language. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, what? Uh, this says M slash F, and I only interpret that as motherfucker. So, motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's probably male or female. <laughs> Just motherfucker. <laughs> 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 you check your blood pressure and you check it off with diabetes. Oh, Magnum's trying to kill me here. <laughs> My only regret is that it hadn't worked yet. <coughs> All right. Um, <laughs> okay, motherfucker. What? <laughs> Male, female. Age? Age? Oh, that's you. Yeah, that's me. Age? I'm a female, silly. 13. <laughs> Location? Kentucky? Why are you acting all weird? He's got this written down on the back of one of his, uh, one of his Ziggy calendars. Who is Cody? No, not Cody, you. I know Cody's weird, lol. What do you like? That what? Anything. Like what? Do you like Nigeria? Huh? Yeah, huh? Later. Ruff, ruff, ruff. You're crazy and scare me. Later, dude. And later, a couple hours later. Yep. Cheyenne, I didn't mean to upset you. Sorry about that. It has been an extremely long day. Talk with you later. Okay, smiley face. Are you still on? Yeah. I'm still nude. <laughs> OMG. I guess I should say, I'm back to being nude. Oh, Low, why? I love how all these guys think that's just enticing to these little girls. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure when you were 13, you were thinking, man, I wish some fat, perverted old pedophile would get naked on camera for me and show me his little penis. Yeah. And then take me out to the Golden Corral, stuff me like a bird. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Almost time to go to bed. I usually get up at 5.30 because I'm an old fucking man. Wow, that's early. That's daily. And tomorrow, I'll go work out by 8. Go work out. <laughs> Bullshit. I get up at 5.32, but it sure as hell ain't, ain't to work out. <laughs> oh. What have you been doing tonight? Talking to Madison and Alyssa? What you been doing? Watch TV for a while. Probably, probably, uh, oh shit, what was that? Uh, jag. Probably Jag. <laughs> laundry and clean the kitchen. That's not laundry. Laundry. Baudry. Laundry. Laundry. I'm so glad I don't have to do laundry. Yeah, I know, right? It sucks. <laughs> Yuck. Sounds like loads of fun. Garage is on the list for tomorrow. Sounds fun. Not. Lol. Who's Madison? One of my girlfriends. From school? Yeah. I assume Alyssa too? She's pretty cool. Are they all your age? Yeah. Is Cody your age too? No. He's 15. No more questions. Huh? Oh, I seem to ask too much. No, you don't. Okay. One last one. What part of Kentucky? Central, south, east, west, or north? North. Really? Do you know where I am? Um, I think you told me, but I forget. Cincinnati. 
Oh, cool. He probably eats at the deli where uh, where um, Jeff Stacy works. Lack of words. Huh? Just don't know what to say. So you said that. Okay. Yeah. Are you, like, all naked and stuff? Totally. Lol, again? I'll go straight to bed this way. There's an enticing thought. Really? Absolutely. <laughs> wow. I'll have to move the cat. There's no one here to disturb or bother me, and it feels so good. You got a cat, too? I had two, and one disappeared about a year ago. Probably ran over. Never found her. Aw, sad face. Well, if I can't get you interested in watching, have a nice Easter. I'll be on and off, but I'm ready for bed. Case, smiley face. So the talk of the dead squished cat didn't get her juices flowing, so I guess that's that's, uh, that's every string to his bow, so it's time to go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. I mean, it works for you every time I talk about a dead cat, and that just gets your motor running. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah, like, <coughs> like, Smokey. Oh, yeah, no, <laughs> not happening. All right, so three days later. Oh. So what's life like today, Cheyenne? My dad came and got me to spend Easter with him, smiley face. Talk to you later. Hi, Cheyenne. Weeder, are you? I'm here. What you doing? <laughs> Sorry, talking to Alyssa. I'm really bored tonight. Please. Jim, Jim is into some really weird internet porn. I guess. Unless that's a misspelling of bored. <laughs> but I mean, I, I don't know. I, we're into predators, so it could be it could be some really weird sick shit. Please. Bored. Okay. Well, there in, there went that theory. Oh, lol. Yeah, me too. Are you at home? Yeah. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. Are you guys going out? What guys? Alyssa, etc. No, lol. I don't know what I'm going to do. I got to get out of the house. Why? What does that mean? Why? I'm asking why you have to get out of the house. I don't know. I'm just looking to hang out. Oh. I guess you. What? Nothing. Be right back. Sorry, my mom was telling me something. Guess she's going to my grandma's in Lexington for a couple of days. Good for her. Glad she's going anyways. Talk to you later. Couple hours later. What's going on, Cheyenne? What's going on with you? Then the nice. Yeah, oh. then the next day. Hi, smiley face. I like to think Jim just passed out. Yeah. Hi, Cheyenne. Hey. Do you have school this week? Yeah. A lot of schools are on spring break. I was on spring break last week. Did you do anything special? No, not really. You're just hanging out tonight? Yeah, you. I took the day off to go to the doctor. Annual visit. Our boy Jim had a finger put up his butt. Your day's coming. Hmm. Oh, you okay? I'm just going to have to put a W on each cheek so it says wow. <laughs> I will help you with that. I will absolutely help you with that. <laughs> I'm <We're>, supportive. <laughs> where are your girlfriends? <laughs> they, can, they can help draw the W's. Home. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. Better than last time. What happened? Oh, I'm sorry. I, that's me. What happened? I don't know. I was just out of here. Had to sign back in. Dumb Yahoo. You there? Yeah. Okay. So did you get out of the house the other night? No. I really have been stuck here since Fred. Except work on Mond. Yuck. Why you stuck? It's choice, not wanting to do anything. I feel you, Jim. Oh, like being lazy. I do that. I like movies, but nothing appeals to me. Oh. Hmm, you got lots of movies? Lazy is probably more the feeling. Lol. 
More CDs than movies. Cool. More weird stuff than others. Weird stuff like what? Classical, new age, movie scores. Oh yeah, that's weird. I like most music though. Cool. It all is important. You like Blue October? They are the coolest ever. I'll get an album tomorrow. What's a good title? Hate me. I'll check it out. Cool. You will love them. I, I would just love the thought of Jim just just in his uh, Pontiac Aztec just rocking out to some to some uh, you know mid two thousands tween angst music. I would love that thought. Yes. Yeah. I used to have a band. We made a lot of money back then. Yeah, I think you told me before. Wow, cool. We were quite professional. Had an agent. Always worked single jobs, no clubs. One year, we had over 60 jobs. And it's a lot of gear to move. Wow, but you was real good, too. What kind of songs you did? Very popular. Top 40. And a lot of the disco stuff. Not very many bands could play that. Disco stuff? What's that? My ex-wife would do like the Michael Jackson and other. It's funny you ask that. I think of Donna Summers, Flashdance. We also did old rock and roll, 50s, etc., etc. But we had four great singers. Four singers and one gym. <laughs> oh. Hey. Cool. If this was a real 13-year-old, she'd have never heard of any of that. Wouldn't know what the fuck he was talking about. I know, that's all before your time, but it worked. I also play a lot of jazz. Jazz? Um, what's jazz? It's a whole style of music. Many players. Bill Evans, Thelonious Monk, etc., etc. Some people you've never heard of. <laughs> oh, I never heard of them. Well, that gives me the upper hand. I have heard of Blue October. Bullshit, you have. He didn't. He even <laughs> said he didn't. Yeah. Just not listen to them. Yet. Yeah, he's the kind... Jim's the kind of guy that sits at a restaurant and, like, the waitress is in her 20s. She starts talking about shit that happened in the 60s or something. You're like, ah, that was before your time. You're, 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 you're young. <laughs> yeah. And, like, a bunch of other guys the same age just all sit there. <laughs> <laughs> He, Jim's the kind of guy that hangs out at McDonald's at like 7.30 at the morning with a bunch of old other old men talking about lawnmowers. Do not ruin that old men at, group at McDonald's. <laughs> I love them. They're adorable. <laughs> and they all just happen to meet up. Like, they meet up every single morning, but if you were to ask any of them, like, they don't plan to meet up or look forward to it or anything. They just all happen to go to McDonald's at the same time, and as long as they're there, they're just going to sit and drink their coffee together. And what's great is at the height of 2020, when the McDonald's lobbies closed, they they just started bringing, going to the parking lot uh, in our food line and just pulled out folding chairs and... You know, they would just be like, oh, hey, you know, and pull out another folding chair. And I, it was absolutely adorable. But yet at the McDonald's, they sit at four different tables and talk to each other across the restaurant. Because, you know, they just all happen to be there at the same time. It's, a, it's great. Yeah. I love them. Yeah, let's see. Well, I'll check back later to see if you're on. Okay. Oh, and if you want to get the song Hate Me, you got to get the album foiled well. Talk to you later. <laughs> I think the album is foiled. I don't know. It's been... I, I don't know. I, I have <laughs> listened to this band after the first time I heard this chat log. It's, I have listened to the band, and I'm pretty sure the album's called Foiled. Ah, I like Foiled Well. It's Foiled fine. Well, yeah. <laughs> and what are you wanting to do today? This is the next day. Hello? I don't know. Hi! Hi. I haven't got the Blue October yet. It's on my list. Hello? How was school? Okay. What you do today? Point. Of all the women, ladies that I communicate with, you are the only one on the internet right now. I work hard. Students cheating, etc. Hello? OMG, cheating? Yes, cheating. How can this happen? 
I don't know. Cheating's bad. You think? Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> Smiley face. I'll be back. I have to answer some emails about work. Okay, smiley face. I bet he prints them out, too. I bet he prints them out, reads them over, and then sits down and types them out. You know? Like, he doesn't just read it and type it. I bet he does. I bet he has to print it out and read it on paper. And he's like, all right, I like it on paper. Yeah. I'm back. Sorry about the delay. Hi. So what are you doing tonight? Nothing. What you doing? Nothing. Lol, you too, huh? Interested. What? I don't know. Lol, I don't know too. It's raining hard here. Yeah. Sorry, sip of water. Let's see. I'm really kind of bored. Yeah, me too, lol. I'm not going to suggest anything. I might just get out of here. Unless you offer. Offer? Some idea. Idea? Never mind. Oh, you mean like what you could do? Yeah. I don't know, Lo. Go to a movie or something. I guess. Guess you win somewhere. I gotta go eat and help my mom pack. Talk to you later if you're on. Hi. Hi. I thought you were leaving. I did, but I bring my cheeseburger in my room. Sorry, I am eating. Lol. Anybody else home? My mom. She's getting ready to go tomorrow. What you gonna do when she leaves? I don't know. Be bored. I can think of other ideas. Like what? All sorts. What can you think of? Hmm. Watch movies. Listen to music. Talk on the phone to my friends, talk on here, stay up late, eat lots of junk food, and not do the dishes. <laughs> you can wash my dishes. <laughs> no, thank you. I hate doing dishes. I'm. Oh, God, Jim. I may have something else that needs washed. Not laundry. I hate that, too. Not what I'm thinking. What? Sorry, you have to guess. Hmm. Your windows? I don't like that, too. My mom made me help her with that. It sucks. Nope. This is warm. You got a puppy or something? I like giving my dog a bath. She likes it. Let me know tomorrow. Tomorrow what? <coughs> Let you know what? If washing my dog is in the, the, the picture. Bye. Think about it. Okay, perplex face. <laughs> Bye. I'll probably be back on later. Okay, me too. Bye. Hey, bye. Talk to you later if you're on. Smiley face. Okay, will do. Cool. I came back, but you were gone. Hey. Hey. What time do you go to bed? 10 or 11. I'm supposed to be in bed. <laughs> what you doing? Sitting here answering messages and vegging out. Cool. So, tomorrow brings... Talking to your ladies, huh? What? No, someone I've known for about six months. Cool. Your girlfriend? She's gone. No, not a girlfriend. Oh. When do you think you'll be on tomorrow? After school, I guess. Probably four. Well, I'll check back to see what you're doing. I'll be home by four. Cool, smiley face. I was just pretty busy running around tonight. Oh, where was you running to, lol? Uh, up to Dayton. Oh. Meeting some friends. Cool. Did you have fun? No. Aw, how come? I wasn't... It wasn't what I needed, and it was too far away. Oh. Anyway, talk to you tomorrow if you want. Okay, cool. Bye. Night. Oh my god, this is so boring. <laughs> <coughs> that must have been the infamous swingers club. Alright, let's see.
Uh, oh, smiley face. And then the next day. I'll be back later. I have a change of plans. Hey, I'm doing my homework anyways. Talk to you when you get back, smiley face. Okay, later. Taking a shower. Talk to you later. Hi, I'm done. Talk to you when you're back, smiley face. Do you have anything in mind? Hey. Hey. Do I have what? I'm actually quite horny. Oh. What you doing? You there? Playing with myself, looking for some action tonight. Action? Yep, action. Like, what's that mean? Partying or something? Partying. Yeah? How about you? I don't know. I'm really bored. Hear nothing to do. Do you want to do anything? Yeah, something. I'm tired of sitting here by myself. Jeez. Come on, let's do something. Cool, like what? What would you like? And then the decoy says to put you in jail where you belong. I don't know. You got any ideas? Plenty, but... Like what? Meat. For real? Yeah. Cool. Spill it out. Huh? Spill what? What would you like? Tell me. <laughs> oh, lol. Someone to hang out with. You hang out with me. Cool, yeah, if you wanna. Where? I don't know where you wanna hang out. I guess here, because I can't go nowheres. I'm a normal kind of guy. <laughs> Decoy says, you think this is normal? Where is here? My house, silly. Is anybody there? Nope. Mom went to work. She'll be there till three. And just what would we do? <laughs> what would you like to do? I don't know. What you want to do? All sorts of things. Like what? Would you want to touch? You're getting me hornier. Tell me what you would like. Be right back. Are you sure you want to do this for real? Did I lose you? What are you doing? You still there? Yeah. Hey, I got booted. Don't know what happened. That's too bad. I came on strong. Yeah, you did a little bit there, buddy. Mm-hmm. Huh? So you still want to hang out? I guess. Cool. Do you want to touch? I don't know. Maybe. Are you nice? Yeah, I'm nice. And Decoy goes, ha ha. K. And scared you're a cop. Or setting me up. A cop? Or rolling on the floor laughing my ass off? I'm no cop, silly. Then what would you really like to do? I don't know. Let's see, we could watch a movie or something. I'm interested in the something. I'm hard, <laughs> lorny, and needy. Yeah. He's Lorny. You're right. You are Lorny there, buddy. Needy. What's nerdy? <laughs> I'd like someone to touch me. You want me to touch you? That would be good. Okay. I'd like to touch you. For reals? For real. Cool. I'd like you to feel the warmth and wetness. Of what? Of me and you. Wow, cool. It's Big, fat, sweaty belly. Inside. Inside? Where did you go? I'm here. Yes, the warmth and wetness inside of you, question mark. Wow. Don't you feel that sometimes? How you mean? Just feel it. I guess. Do you rub yourself and feel good and then wet? <laughs> no. I've never done that. So, like, where you live again? Between your legs. Ugh. <laughs> Cincinnati East Side. Yeah, I guess that first, uh, the first one didn't really land, so we had to follow that up. Yeah. Oh, cool. You don't live too far. Can I rub for you? Rub what? Let's try this. What are you wearing? Jeans and a t-shirt. Is there anybody around? No. I told you my mom's at work. Unzip your jeans. Okay. Unbutton them too. 
Yeah. I assume you're wearing panties? Um, yeah. You there? On the outside of your panties, take your middle finger and slide it up and down the or side of your pussy. Ugh. Okay. Push down a little bit. Okay. And move up and down that slit, pushing in a little bit. Are you a little bit wetter? Okay. Yeah. Now take off your jeans, all the way off. I don't think you want to come over and hang out. I'm thinking you want to do that cyber stuff. Oh, I would love to do it for real. You would? Take your legs and spread them open. Now take the elastic of your panties and pull it away from your pussy. Why are we doing this? For you to feel... you. Oh. Sticky your... stick your finger <laughs> in your pussy and rub like before. Okay. Now think about a penis in there. Like your finger getting harder and exploding with liquid, warm liquid. Oh, God. The warmth overtakes you. Jim, you, mu you, you musical soul. He, ta he has a poet soul over here. I was about to say, what a fucking poet. <laughs> wow. But I feel weird doing this, lol. That's sex lesson number one. God, he's labeling them. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. People do it all the time. <laughs> Most of the time, they want a penis, not a finger. Just a penis. Yeah. <laughs> I have a penis. <laughs> Thank God he clarified that. I was starting to think he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. I saw it on your cam. Look, and it fits right in there. And it explodes right in there. <laughs> Sounds I terrifying. I was going to say it's not it's not sounding very pleasant for either party, I gotta say. I'm just I, thinking of old Tom and Jerry cartoon or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Spin her beak around to the back of her head. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, it's big. And it will fit nice and tight. <laughs> hmm. You're doing cyber stuff and that's boring. So you stop. What's to stop you from doing it for real? Um, nothing, I guess, lol. Where? Where what? To do it for real. You want to do it for real with me? I don't know, would you? If you want to, yeah. So when? Where? Hmm, here, I guess. I'm open. How do I get there? Well, I live in Highland Heights. You know where that is? Off of 75. It's not far from you. Um, no, I don't think. Is there anybody there? No, my mom is at work till like three. Give me directions. She work at St. Elizabeth Hospital. When you come in. I won't come until you say so. Is tomorrow better? Um, don't matter. But it would be cool tonight. You don't have to do this. I know. I'm horny and would feel good as hard as I am. Wow. Okay. Um, like 9.30, so I can, like, take a shower and stuff. I still need directions. Oh, lol, well, yeah. Are you sure you want to feel a man's cock inside of you? My Okay, my address is blank in Highland Heights. It's a dead-end street. I live at the end on the left. Yeah? Kind of close to, um, what's that? Oh, yeah, 471, I think. You there? I'll do a search on the goggle. <laughs> K, low. Looking it up. K, squiggle face. Okay. Cool. What time are you going to be here? 
You said after 9.30. Yeah, about 9.30, that okay? Or 10, up to you. You pick. It'll be closer to 10. Okay. What kind of car you got so I know it's you coming? Smiley face. Pontiac Aztec. Or no, first was Azrak, which is actually a pretty apt description for an Aztec. Aztec. What color? Champagne. What's that? And I know at least one tire needs air. Tan. Oh, okay. Okay, I gotta take a shower and get ready. See you soon, smiley face. Cheyenne. I have too much to lose by getting caught doing this. I have had second thoughts. I'm still not trusting, and I just don't know if it's okay. Please don't stop talking, and maybe someday we can really do this. I'd love to come over there and feel you as much as you want to feel me, but I can't. At least not right now. Jim. Sad face. Thought you was just playing with me. K. No, I'm serious. It could wreck my life. Oh, but I would love to make love to you. But I'm scared that your neighbors would see my car and your mother would come home early. Would you like to talk with me? I'll send my my mubber. Number. Number what? I'm not playing. I'd love to make love to you. Phone. He Mom. Mean, means the P-N. Oh. Mom won't. And neighbors live down the hill behind us. Don't leave. Be right back. Gotta pee. And you're not a Highland cop and my career won't go down the drain? You might have to pee, but I need to get laid. I'm so tense. Hey, I took a shower and everything. Tense. A shower. It's a good thing. I'll be all over you. Have you ever had anybody lick your pussy? Boy, that turned around quick. Yeah. Hello? So you still gonna come? No, my ex-boyfriend wouldn't. I'm gonna come some way. If you took a shower, I'm sure I would. I really like to do that. Well, you coming over or not? Probably. You still have to encourage me. Huh? I'm not really into young. I just like connecting, and I think we have. Cool, booby face. In other words... I like you for what we have, for the exchanges we have had. But on the other side, I am quite needy, really needy. I have a, quote, fuck buddy, but she's overweight and has her own problems. I just think we have connected. I don't know what all that means, but okay. For a few moments, maybe we can feel good, release, and feel good. So, I guess you're not coming over? Fine. I can't leave until 9.30. Do you want to call me? And he gives his phone number. Yes, smiley face. Gotta find my phone. Scared about coming over, but I'm coming. Cool. Call you as soon as I find it. Low. And uh, that's uh, that's the end of uh, of old Jim Roush there. The rest, as we, they say, is history. He uh, He drunkenly swerved his way into our hearts. He, that was so boring. <laughs> yeah. That was so boring. It, 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 it was. It was. <laughs> it was. It was hilarious, but it was boring. Yeah, I, I, I can't defend Jim on this one. It was, <laughs> it was pretty damn boring. He's a boring guy. I love the, I love the poetry at the end, more or less. <laughs> yeah, you know, Jim, Jim, a, a lot of people want to give Jim a pass, and I'm not one of these people. I think he's just as bad as scum as all the rest of the guys that showed up. But some people want to give him a pass because, you know, he was a lonely guy. He'd gotten out of a long marriage. You know, apparently he and his wife were into swinging and stuff, and he probably lost all his all his friends when his wife left him and stuff. And you can tell he's a lonely dude with nothing to do. Yeah. And, and you know, but, I mean, don't get me wrong. That does not give him a pass. He's slime. No. You know, he was still going to go defile a little girl. Yeah. And quite honestly, if he had looked far enough, he'd have found somebody else to connect with that was of age. But you know, she was she seemed like an easy mark, and that whole 
you know, oh, I don't know about it. Really? Because you showed her your dick within five minutes of meeting her. Oh, that so was that this, was the meeting. It was, hey, yeah. come look at my penis. Yeah. That was the meeting. He was quicker than Lauren with that. Yeah, so it's like... No, you knew what you were planning. Yeah, he had that he had that wiener dangling out there before you even knew she was thirteen and then he then that didn't even stop him. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, I, I you know, some people like I said, some people want to give him the pass because he was just a lonely dude and I say, Well if you're a lonely dude and it's gonna make you do that, then uh, that's that's just as bad or worse. True. Yeah, like he might have even been worse than, than a guy like uh Dustin McFetridge because you know, D Mac or like uh or Donald Morrison, you know, they had done this shit before. Yeah. You know, so somebody potentially could have kept an eye on him, but not Jim. This was all new behavior for Jim. That to me that makes him more dangerous. So Alright. Uh delete your archives. Kiss kiss. <laughs> <laughs>